Hi guys, Greg from Enerdrive here again. Today we're here to look at BTEC batteries. So first off, uh, we have three ranges of lithium batteries within the Enerdrive branded battery range. To run through those, we have the E-Lite. That's currently available in a 100 amp option. Now the reason why it's an E-Lite is the main difference between that and our BTECs that we're talking about is it doesn't have the Bluetooth technology built in. The cell construction and BMS are the same high quality, just doesn't have the Bluetooth technology built in. We then have our BTEC range, which we'll be talking about today. Finally, we have our Pro Series, or sometimes called a white box solution. This one here is for the real high-end off-grid usage and is more so dedicated to OEM installations for real high demands and where you need to pull absolutely maximum capacity out for battery. So that's the Pro Series, again, mainly an OEM solution. Whereas the BTECs and the E-Lights is what's commonly referred to as a drop-in replacement battery. So, why would you want a lithium battery or why would you want an Enerdrive BTEC battery? We'll run through some of the main benefits of changing across to a lithium. First off, let's look at a key one, lighter. So why do you want a lighter battery? to store more equipment in your caravan, your four wheel drive, to keep an eye on your um, masses, your weights and all that, and to store more beer, most importantly. So from a practical point of view here, one of the best examples I can give you on weight savings is my own experience with this. So I'll just refer to some specs here. So in my own ute, for example, I took a 70 amp hour lead crystal battery out around about 22 kilos. Replaced it with a 125 amp BTEC here that we've got at around about 15 kilos. That was a saving of about seven kilograms, but most importantly, also got 65 amps more usable capacity, which we'll touch on later on. Another example as well, again, my own application here where I measured weights, was my camper trailer. I took out 200 amp AGM batteries, which are in parallel. They totaled 62 kilograms. Now I replaced it with a single 200 amp BTEC G2, which was at 26 kilograms. So that was a saving of 36 kilograms. So that's a huge weight saving in any application. Again, got 60 amps more usable amp hours out of the battery as well. So light weight, key weight savings uh, is obviously a key thing nowadays with people wanting to put more equipment in their four wheel drives, in their canopies, in their caravans, for example, and also boats as well. Now, another one there, as I mentioned about amp hours or increased amp hours. So, on an AGM, it's always thrown around that really you should only use 50% of the total capacity. So the usable amp hours on a 200 amp AGM battery, for example, is actually only 100 amp hours. You should only take them down to that 50% before charging the backup, or else you do shorten the life of the batteries. Now with a lithium battery, there's many different talks around what you should do. We play it pretty safe here with the BTECs and all that. We're happy to say there's 80% usable capacity there. So again, same application there. If I was to say that 200 amp battery, we can use 160 amp hours there off the usable capacity. So a great saving there. More capacity means you can go without charge for longer. So another great benefit there. High life cycle expectancy. Again, compared to a traditional lead acid battery, so your AGMs, uh, your normal sealed lead acid battery, for example, there. Again, we stay very conservative, but we can say trouble free, you can get 2000 cycles or more out of a lithium battery, far more than you will with an AGM battery. What we also have, a key thing here for high demand situations as well. And if you've watched my uh, inverter video that we ran through as well, Key things with the lithium batteries is they maintain their voltage at a higher period when they are being discharged. So what that means is the higher the voltage you've got on your battery, the less current draw there. The less current draw there, more means you're gonna get more time out of your battery as well. And also on key items like inverters, you won't come up with any issues like your low voltage alarms. Now, another key one here as well, especially with people living in off grid and wanting to get the most out of their systems, is the charging efficiency as well. So just like the discharge voltage, going stable all the way along and then dropping off, it's the same for the charging current as well. So the charging current, for example, if we're putting 50 amps into this one here, for example, say, it will run at that 50 amps right till the end and then drop off. Whereas a normal lead acid battery starts tapering off and a lot of the actual current that's going into the battery isn't used as recharging the battery, it's lost in heat, for example. So there's some key reasons there. Now, 
The other one that we'll talk about there is, hey, bragging rights. Nowadays, again, when you're sitting around the campfire and all that sort of stuff, you want your beers cold, you want to be able to use your induction cooktop, for example, or maybe in your caravan, your air conditioning systems. A lot of those type of appliances or usage, usages just can't be done with a traditional AGM battery. You'll either get a lot shorter usage time or you'll start coming up with those low voltage alarms like I mentioned about earlier. So there's definitely the braking rights there as well. And that really covers the reasons and the benefits of VTEC batteries. And then I guess next time we'll talk about the specifications uh, on our lithium batteries.